G'day everyone, Goober here with an exciting announcement. Uh, there will be two special events hosted by myself and Coffee Beans uh, prior to the Season SS5 uh, launch, which ha happens on the 5th of July. Uh, so during the 18th and the to the 24th and the 25th to 30th of June, there will be a solo self-found Time Mark 7 Traveller Kill event. Now, to participate um, for the 18 to 26 June part, which is the one that I am hosting, um, what I need everyone to do that wants to participate is to add me on Discord, which is goober, hashtag 7106, and then just message me saying, hi, goober, I would like to participate in the event. And then through the settings on... Um, in Torchlight, just send me what your account ID is. This is a snippet of mine. I don't really want to put mine on YouTube. So um, after the event, I will delete all of these uh, messages. Uh, so I'm, I'm not keeping that information. <clears throat> so that is to register for the event. Once the event starts on the 18th of June, 18th, 19th, 20th, etc. Uh, once the event starts, just send me another message uh, with your character name during the event. And then once you reach level 60, send me a screenshot showing that you're level 60. And after you kill the traveler, just send me a screenshot over his corpse um, showing that it is the character that we've uh, said and the traveler has been killed. The developers of Torchlight will be able to see in their system who has actually completed it. So I'm relying on everyone to be honest and send through these two pieces of uh, <clears throat> evidence to show that the event has been complete. Now, this is a little bit of an interesting one. So as I've mentioned, to qualify for the rewards, uh, you must achieve level 60 within the time period of 18 to 24 June for the first part or 25th to the 30th of June for coffee's part. Now, this is a community event. So over 50% of the people that register uh, by sending me a message on Discord must kill Traveller for everyone to get the reward. So if we have 100 people sign up and only 49 kill Traveller, Unfortunately, we all miss out on the reward. Um, however, what I'm going to show you is probably the simplest way to kill Traveller, uh, which is, in my opinion, on Yuga 2. So that's just where it is. There isn't going to be a separate server for this. It is just on Solo Cell Found. So if you already have a Solo Cell Found character, you'll have already cleared the Nether Realm and this will be much, much easier. So <clears throat> going on to my current Yuga 2 character, I tested this out yesterday and while it's a little bit tedious, it is doable. So all you need is the Corrupted Marrow. It probably won't be double uh, corroded like this, but it'll still be max terror quantity of one. Um, you can get this from the last um, treasure trove. So this is an extremely easy helmet to get. And then just using two weapons. Yes, they're quite good, but it is only two weapons. So if you're doing this, you've probably got a pair of gloves, boots, etc. on. Uh, even just the set bonuses that you get from doing the um, maps will be far stronger than this. <clears throat> now, I killed the Time Mark 7 Traveller last night doing this. Um, it took a little bit because I'm not wearing gear. I'm also not wear, uh, using any slates. These are just the, uh, the order decrease. They actually do nothing. All my slates were off and I managed to kill the Traveller. So there is a couple of tips that I would suggest because I believe when we start in Solo Self Found, your nether realm is not explored. Um, what I would suggest is not chasing all of the cards because they don't really matter. All we need to do is to get to Time Mark 7 Traveler and kill him. 
So in my opinion, the best map to spam on time mark one to get the um, <clears throat> to get the what are they called cinders to get the cinders I will be spamming Demiman village because there is no sides uh, side areas and it is a linear path to the boss and you'll level up quite well doing Demiman village in Glacial Abyss I'll do that for every time mark through to time mark 7. Um, on Blistering Lava Sea, I will be doing Confession Chapel because, it, again, it is an extremely fast map and you'll get to time mark 7 rather quickly. Going on to Steel Forge, uh, I believe Cloud Walls is rather fast. I'm unsure of this area because I don't really like Steel Forge. Uh, if you know of a faster map, please let everyone know in the comments so everyone can get through this phase as quickly as possible. In Thunder Wastes, um, it's Grove of Calamity, which is the same map as Demiman Village. So you're going to get as much XP as possible to be able to kill Traveller even easier. And then finally, in Void Lands, I would be doing either Obscured Plaza or Filthy Forest. I personally like Filthy Forest, but Obscured Plaza is a bit faster. Um, Yuga 2 levels through the story really, really quickly. So that's why I would suggest doing Yuga 2. And um, as I said before, you don't need gear to be able to kill uh, time Mark 7 Traveller. It should be relatively easy with just this helmet and a couple of wands. If you can get ones with Terra Charge stacks, great. Um, obviously, you'll need more gear than just two crap wands and a helmet. Um, but either this or Boom Moto will be your, uh, your go-tos for this event, I believe. Um, if you know of a faster spec that people can enjoy and get through this event... Uh, please let everyone know in the comments below. Now, the reward for this event is only 100 Jagged Primos. However, I believe that if you do both events, you can get 100 Primos in each. And the second time that you do it will be much easier. It's on Solo Self Found. So, it's just a new character. You'll still have all the gear from your first character. And you can just use that on your second character and get the Jagged Primos a second time. You'll also have the Nether Realm fully unlocked. So you'll be able to just get level 60, kill some uh, Time Mark 7 and uh, get the keys and kill Traveller. So I believe the second event will be much, much easier. You'll do all the work in my event. And then during Coffee's event, everyone can get in, do their part and uh, secure some primos for everyone else. I think I've covered everything off in the special event. Um, as I said, just to recap, add me on Discord, Gooba, hashtag 7106. Let me know you would like to, to participate and let me know your account ID. I can give this to XD and let them know who is participating. Once the event starts, just let me know your character name. On reaching level 60 to qualify for the rewards, just send me a screenshot. And then once you've killed the Traveller, send me a screenshot in the, uh, in the Traveller area, confirming the kill. Over 50% of people have to kill Traveller for everyone to get the reward. It's about coming together as a community and ensuring everyone gets something. Uh, enough on that. More exciting news in a couple of hours. The reveal trailer for uh, Season SS5 is going to come out. It's four hours um, from now when making this video. Uh, so probably in about two hours after this airs. Um, it's going to be a short uh, one minute or two minute teaser trailer. However, at least we know that the new season is coming. If you're still unsure when Clockwork Ballet, 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 Clockwork Ballet, I don't know. It kind of sounds like a minion build that's coming out, which uh, has me excited. Maybe it's another Boom, maybe it's another Iris. Um, 
a second Iris build. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, let me know in the comments below which character you think is going to come out in this expansion, which uh, starts on July 4th, 7 p.m. PDT. For me, that's July 5th because I live in the future while all of you in America, etc., are living in the past. Uh, <laughs> only by about 12 hours, but that's all good. And if you pre-register for the uh, season, obviously you get some free Jagged Primos and Revival Tokens with a portrait frame. So make sure you pre-register for Season SS5. And I look forward to seeing everyone message me on Discord and sign up for this event. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days. Cheers.